just read in the scriptures that he's a black man. But this image, you go to church? You go to church? Have you ever seen this image before? Have you seen this image? Come over here, so I want you to see it. Look at all these images down here. These are the images that they pushed on us. So if they get, and we just read, he just read out the Bible, right? That he's what color? He's black. If they lied to you about this, what else you think they was going to lie to you about? That's what we got. Everything, bro. Everything about, now think about it. What's, what would you say your nationality is? Huh? I'm black. You black. What's your nationality? Hispanic. Hispanic. Think about it. Both of those two titles we got from this so-called white man. Right. When he came over here and put both of us, give me Jeremiah 51, I think, in his first 30. Bring it out. When he put, brought us over here on cargo slave ships, he did he did this to both of our people. Right. To the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans and to the so-called blacks. And he changed both of our nationalities to the point when we asked both people, hey, what's your nationality? He says, this, our Hispanic brothers, Hispanic. Our black people, black people. Well, where, where, in, where, where are these countries at? Where's the land of black? You know? Nowhere. Watch this. Read this. Jeremiah. This is what the Bible says. Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 33. Watch this. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, right. the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. The Bible, Jeremiah, is explaining the children of Israel and the children of Judah. If you look at this sign over here, you got the children of Israel, which represents Ephraim, on down to Namthali. Our so-called Native Americans, Hispanic, Native American brothers and sisters. The so-called Judites will be your so-called African Americans, West Indies, and Haitians. They make up the, the tribes of uh, Judah. So you had a split when you understand the Bible. You had a split in the kingdom. Listen to what he's saying. Read it again. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Listen. The children of Israel. The children of Israel, which means you Hispanic brothers and sisters. Read. And the children of Judah. And the children of Judah, which are black brothers and sisters. Read. We're oppressed together. He said we was going to be oppressed together right. in the land. Right. What are they doing to our so-called Hispanic brothers and sisters on the border right now? I'm asking you. Uh, I don't know. Huh? You don't know? Donald Trump has just built a wall down there so our people was, can stop to prevent them to get back to their land. This is a land that was given to your forefathers. Our black brothers and sisters. Who's getting shot down in the street at alarming rate? Trayvon are. Martin. You got uh, 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 Sandra Bland. What's the brother uh, from Mississippi? They got his hair. Rasheed Carter. All these things are happening to our people, blacks, Hispanics. So think about it. If they lied to you about this image right here just, and put this in your face, what else did they lie to you about? What your true nationality is. Who you are according to this Bible. We make up God's chosen people. There has been a divide between the black and brown people, and that came from this man. Right. He divided us. You understand? Watch this. Give me that. Read that again. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 33. Listen to this. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Go ahead. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. He said we was going to be oppressed together. Our sons and daughters, whose sons and daughters was given to another people in slavery? Did that happen to your people? Whose sons and daughters were given to each other, were given to another people by in slavery? Who was colonized? Your people, your people was here. Come here, my bro. What we showing our people is black and brown people, we make up the same people. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. These things that you see on here, these atrocities on slave ships, cargo slave ships. Now watch this, I'm gonna show y'all something. What's your last name? Stanford. Who? Stanford. Come on, speak up, speak up. Stanford. Stanford, what's your last name? Gonzalez. Gonzalez, what's your last name? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Yeah, now watch this. Where do we get these last names from? Bring it out. This is one of the yeah. curses that happened to black and brown people. Right. Gonzalez, that's a, that's a, 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 a conquistador last name. Right. That's when right. your people was took over in slave ships back over to Spain, they put Gonzalez on you. When we came from the west coast of Africa and they brought us here to America, they said, you know what, your last name is what? Oh, uh, it's still a slave name. <laughs> that's that's right. 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 It's still a slave name, just like I, I had a slave name before. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Though we are, we are, we are bearing the names of our, of our oppressors. Watch this, Deuteronomy 28, give me the curse. 
This is one of the curses that happened to the Israelites. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Listen to this. And thou shalt become an astonishment. He said, us as black and brown people, we become an astonishment. We the only one, we the only people that allow our women to be sexualized through the media. Right. Bring it out. Right. Is this is this facts? Yes. Our people, just black and brown people, you don't see the so-called white woman that's out here twerking everywhere in her, her music. You don't see the so-called Chinese woman doing this. Who do you see doing that predominantly? You see the black and brown people. That's you understand? He said we was going to be a what? Read it. And thou shalt become an astonishment. He said we, that's an astonishment to the eyes. Read it. Come on. A proverb. He said we was going to become a proverb. You know what a proverb is? Don't, 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 don't hurt me on trust you. I'm not, we asking, because I like interaction, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't like just teach. Think listening. about it. This is a proverb. I'm listening. Watch this. I want y'all to finish the statement. Black people love Drama. chicken. <laughs> chicken? Black people love grape. Which, what you got? What? Grape juice. You understand? Mexico, what they say about our Hispanic brothers and sisters? Burritos, tacos. We y'all love burritos, tacos, and and y'all lazy. That's what they say. Y'all lazy people. When you got the Hispanic man, will build a whole house from scratch within ninety days. Bring it out from scratch within ninety days. But they have been painted as they the aliens, right? Black and brown people. He said we was gonna become a proverb, right? And a byword. And a byword meaning. I'll tell you what. Watch this. I'm going to show you. I got Grandpa you. is going home with a shit. Okay, I'll praise him. <laughs> the Most High God gave us these names right here. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon. Now, all of a sudden, he said we're going to be a byword, meaning you're going to get called outside of your God-given name. Right. Now, you're going to be called Sanchez, Marinez, uh, Johnson. These are names that we have. Because why? This is some of the curses that was put on the Israelites. Which the people, these pastors, they're not teaching us this in church. This is why our people have a, such a disdain for the Bible because they don't, they never heard the Bible in its true sincerity. Now watch this. Give me y'all verse 32. Verse 36. Yeah, verse 46. Verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. He said these curses, what we just read through, who went on cargo slave ships into captivity? Did that happen to our people? You know that history? Sometimes they ain't even teaching this history to our young people. That your ancestors went on cargo slave ships and they were shipped to Spain. Right. They was taken over here and then, guess what? My sister, you celebrate Thanksgiving Day? Oh, come on, sis. What happened on Thanksgiving Day? Give me some history. Bring why you out. celebrate? See? Huh? You don't know. The same you reason know. why you don't know this image was painted right. all over America. That's yeah. right. You understand? Thanksgiving. What happened Thanksgiving? Give me some history. I don't know, because I celebrate it too. You celebrate it too? Now, now think about it. This so-called white man right here, this side right here, this man right here came to America and slaughtered the Native American brothers and sisters. That's right. After he slaughtered the Native American brothers and sisters, he came and got your ancestors on cargo slave ships and came over here and built this country. That's right. He didn't build it. You built it. And right. now he's still talking about be thankful, happy Thanksgiving. That don't make sense. Why are we celebrating Thanksgiving? When they were celebrating Thanksgiving, where was we? We was in the cotton fields. We was on the plantations. You understand? But now we celebrate these things ignorantly. And this is what the Lord is saying. Give me John 8.32 right quick. Yeah, you can drop it. I pray that y'all understand. Y'all Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. You must keep God's laws. We the, spe we the most special people on this book. That's right. Christ, the black man, he only came back for a certain group of people. That's, That's right. right. Contrary to popular belief, God don't love everybody. Right. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 